Hey guys, it's Christy from Turner Max Adventures. So today's video is going to be about a few organizational tips that we added to the Max. We also are stocking the freezer, getting ready for our trip in less than a week. And also, if you saw a few posts back on my Instagram page, we were traveling home from our last short mini trip and the top drawer came out and we had stuff all over the floor. It was a mess. So Chris has a fix for that. So stay tuned. So I normally don't keep a rug right here to wipe our feet, um, but I found this one at Tractor Supply Company and it will hopefully keep us from tracking in dirt on our other rugs that I love so much because they're starting to look pretty dingy. The only thing is I had to cut this side to make it fit. Hey guys, if you go to Aldi, um, this box is the Fit and Active uh, tortillas that come in it, the low carb tortillas. It fits perfect in this spot. I plan to go back and get a couple more of these boxes, another one for this drawer and two more for the, for the drawer that's underneath the fridge. It also fits perfectly. They just help divide out the drawer so that you can organize it a little bit better. And they're free. And here in this corner, we got in that corner so we'll be out of the way. And we can use those there. And then I'll start in this corner and then I'll see how far this stretches and I'll put it over here. So get it I want to get it far enough away to where I can Helmet bungee for like a motorcycle helmet. I got this at Harbor Freight. It's about four dollars. And then yeah, we'll be able to pull that. And then yeah, that'll be good. Pull that nice and straight, and we'll be able to put stuff in there or go around stuff or whatever you want to do. What I love about these is that I don't have to leave them up all the time. I can use them for trips, if we want to put shoes in them. A lot of times we will keep the heater in the back, um, in the drawer in the back. But whenever we go on big trips, whenever I need to utilize that drawer for my winter clothes, uh, we have to move the heater out of there. So this will be perfect to put the heater in.
So for the past three weeks, I've been coming up with a meal plan. Um, I've been making meals and then reserving a portion of it for us to take with us on our trip and freezing it in Ziploc bags flat. going to be gone about 17 days and so we have a couple of packages of sausage here that will be for the mornings. Um, I have some chicken patties for the air fryer that we can just make sandwiches, some chicken for some fried rice, uh, chicken fajita meat that I have marinated already and it's ready to go in the skillet with peppers. Um, also have some pork chops that we can put on the grills that have been marinated in dill seasoning, some roast for quesadillas, some spaghetti meat sauce that I can add to zoodles. We have some hamburger steaks with mushroom gravy, beans and ham. I also have some jiffy cornbread mix to go with that. We have more roast beef quesadillas, some chili, filet mignon, some um, lasagna casserole that was to die for that we're going to have with Cheddar Bay Biscuits from Red Lobster. And we are also going to have some pizzas for a couple of nights with peppers and sausage and pepperoni. And then some hamburger patties that I'm going to have with poblano peppers and bacon. So on our last trip to Hot Springs, we were on our way home and this top drawer came loose, came out and stuff went everywhere. Like all of our utensils and everything went out. And so I've done a couple of things um, to, I've done a couple of things to try to resolve that. One is I changed the, changed the uh, latch to be a magnetic latch and then put the Put the other end of that there it is a pretty powerful magnet so it'll stay pretty good so it requires a little bit more tension to pull out now we always have all three of these bungeed together the hope was is that you know that one of them would hold and if two of them hold kept the other one in but obviously that didn't work someone on the little guy facebook page posted that just a quick um, I thought pretty ingenious way to uh, keep the drawers from opening. Now we've used tension rods in the past. We've used a, a couple of other things, but this one I think is better than any of those and it's pretty hidden and all it requires is a couple of nails. So what I did was I used a 964ths, um, I used a 964ths uh, drill bit and came into the side and with the drawers closed, Put the 964 uh, drill bit into the frame here at a slight downward angle, not a huge downward angle, but a slight downward angle. Had to make sure that I didn't hit the actual frame, the, uh, the slide frame itself. And so what you'll see is it came through and what you will see is it is, there's a hole right there where it goes into the drawer itself. And so with it closed, whenever we're on a trip, we slide that, uh, it's a three and a quarter inch nail into there. It's not going anywhere. Mm -mm. There is nothing. And I did that for all three of these drawers. All three of those drawers. Um, that one as well. So that none of those are coming loose. We're more than likely going to do the same thing with the large drawer underneath the refrigerator by doing the same thing inside this cabinet.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. That helps our channel. Also, hit that notification bell. It will let you know when we post a new video. So thanks so much, guys, and we'll catch you on the road.